How's it going everyone? In this video I want to take you guys through a brand new open world RPG that has been confirmed to be coming to PlayStation 5 and it will be published by Amazon Games, the NCSoft developed MMORPG Throne and Liberty. Long announced, Amazon Games has announced an agreement with NCSoft to publish the massively multiplayer online RPG Throne and Liberty for PS5, Xbox Series, and PC in North America, South America, Europe, and Japan. A release date was not specified but the game was noted to support cross-platform play. The official overview from Amazon notes this, and there's a lot more information that we'll get into from the official website as well, but it notes Throne and Liberty is a massively multiplayer online RPG that combines story-driven adventure and action combat in Throne and Liberty. Players enter a vast world with constantly shifting geographical and environmental features that change the course of play. Massive scale player versus player and player versus environment combat are fundamental to Throne and Liberty's players and can transform into animals to sort through the air or explore the depths of the sea and even tip the odds of battle in their favor by triggering powerful environmental effects like solar eclipses or rainstorms. NCSoft has a long history of developing and publishing beloved multiplayer game franchises across the globe including Lineage, Aeon, Blade and Soul, and of course Guild Wars. Thorn and Liberty is noted by the way to be an accessible MMORPG so bear that in mind and the game was also noted to be the latest next gen MMO from the South Korea based developer and it's first to be released across multiple regions in collaboration with an external publisher. It continues, NCSoft has created some of the most popular and longest running online games in the world, so it's no surprise that Throne and Liberty is among today's most anticipated MMOs. That is coming from Amazon Games' Vice President Christoph Hartman in a press release. Publishing games that live and grow over time remains a critical piece of our strategy, and delivering games of the highest quality from the world's most talented developers is one of the cornerstones of our business. The last year has taught us a great deal about publishing and managing successful live service games on a global scale, and we're ready to bring Throne and Liberty players an incredible experience at launch. Obviously, uh, Amazon, no stranger to publishing a big uh, live service titles you look back at lost ark you look back at new world games that uh would it be a stretch to say have had a bit of a mixed reception NCSoft Principal Development Manager continued, Amazon Games is one of the most reliable partners for publishing massive live service games globally with proven expertise in operations, localization, marketing, and community support for our next-gen flagship title. We're confident that they are the right publisher to bring Throne and Liberty's uh, inimitable value and its dynamic, immersive MMO experience to players around the world. So this is a next-generation title. Uh, no PlayStation 4 or Xbox One release outline. Technically speaking, it does look fairly good, and there's a lot of information that has has been released about the game on the official website. Uh, as I mentioned, the game is a title that is looking to engage a lot of people. It's really trying to be an MMO that's accessible to anyone, a world to suit all playstyles, gameplay for everyone, one for all, all for one, a multifaceted, in-depth MMO RPG for both PC and console, beautifully designed, engaging combat with global appeal in a multi-platform format. We aim to create a game that brings excitement to as many people in as many ways as possible. The game also notes Throne and Liberty. There is no certain path to your destiny. Everyone starts from the same beginning. Some set off on epic travels, even aiming for the pinnacle of the world. Some prefer to accumulate wealth, while some simply enjoy the company of others. A world purely your own. This is the world we strive to bring to life. There is no single conclusion. Combat is always engaging and challenging, and there is never one path to victory. In this world of possibility, you can experiment with different weapons, regardless of classes. Bosses, field events, guild battles, and more require a new strategy every time. You may be stronger in a group than alone. But regardless, you can choose to venture forth as a lone wolf. And Liberty, we seek out this living and breathing world, a world which is vast yet interconnected. It's ever-changing regions interacting with each other. Both weather and environment will transform your experience in profound ways. The shape of the terrain or the nature of its flora and fauna may change, triggering new events to challenge you further. You can study the ebb and flow of nature and adapt to your environment or choose to fight against it. It also has an emphasis on its overarching narrative. A lot of it is outlined on the official website. So if you want an MMO that has an emphasis on storytelling as well, I think you'll find that in Throne and Liberty. The game is still relatively, you know, far away, I would imagine. I wouldn't expect to play this game this year, but hopefully it does make smooth development progress. And with Amazon Games handling the publishing, I know maybe that'll make some people a little bit skeptical, but hopefully uh, it turns out to be the dynamic and immersive MMO that is engaging and accessible to all players that they are intending it to be. 
And with NCSoft at the helm of development, we'll see how this one ultimately turns out. A next generation open world RPG that will be dropping on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series, and PC sometime in the future. But that is going to do it for me. Again, MMORPGs as far as on console still, you know, trying to find their footing. Obviously, you've got stuff like FF14, Elder Scrolls Online, and whatnot. But MMOs are typically uh, more so uh, associated with PC gaming. By the way, this is one that at this stage of the game, we don't know how it's going to be rolled out as far as um, is it going to be a free-to-play game? Is it going to be something that is pay-to-play? Is it going to be a mix of both? Obviously, it's a live service game, so it's going to be a game that has some sort of monetization implemented within it, so bear that in mind as well. But something to keep on your radar if you're a fan of RPGs or you want to get into an open-world RPG, again, it is looking like it's one that is attempting to be a little bit more accessible for everyone that is trying to check it out. As I mentioned, Amazon did publish New World as well as Lost Ark. Uh, I played a lot of Lost Ark, and from what it was, I enjoyed the game. It seemed like everybody did have issues with the endgame content, and then, like, a train wreck happened on, on Steam as far as Lost Ark is concerned, and people were just getting banned left and right if they had, like, an inactive account for a while. Yeah, so maybe some of those issues hopefully will be refined, and uh, Amazon hasn't published on PS5 and Xbox Series, so uh, you would hope that they're gonna get uh, something like this thrown in liberty at a solid state uh, before it does drop, and maybe avoid some of the hurdles that Lost Ark as well as New World did have. As soon as we hear more about the game, especially as far as pricing, how it's going to be rolled out, things of that nature, I will be sure to let you guys know. But that'll do it for me. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.